That's a beautiful looking guitar uh, from Lozon Music. David Lozon is joining us this morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Thanks doing? for coming down, man. Oh, thanks for having me. Uh, great week for music in this town. Absolutely. Yeah, it's exciting, eh? Sure is. Being yeah. in the music business yourself. Right. Yeah. And what I like about your story, we were just talking about this. This uh, Lozon music was started by your grandfather. That's right. Your yeah. dad's uh, still there working. Yes. Right? Yeah. He and is. you're in there now. I am. Yeah. Three generations. That's cool. Yeah. I don't 19. hear that very often nowadays. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. You better have a son or a daughter or something at some point. Right. I have a son, but I'm not sure if he'll uh, necessarily. Probably. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> you brought along some really cool instruments today. I did. Yeah. There's some uh, neat stuff here. Let's start over here. Right. This is uh, a beautiful guitar, uh, which is rare. Right? Right. It's a, what kind of, it's a Gibson. So it's a Gibson. Uh, reissue of a 1960 Les Paul, of a particular one, of Eric Clapton's 1960 Les Paul. Right. And they made 50 of these. Uh, they're all played and signed by Eric Clapton. And uh, so Eric Clapton has had this guitar in his hands? Yes. Yeah, they all went to his house in England, uh, 10 at a time, from Gibson, and then yeah. came back. And Just, uh, 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 Zach, go up the neck to the very top, and you can see that this is signed by Eric Clapton. He has a really cool signature, by the way. <laughs> And it is number 28 of 50. Right? That's right. $30,000 what it costs you. Right. I better put this down. <laughs> <laughs> that is very cool, eh? Yeah. And very rare cool and, and, and gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. It's pretty, eh? These beautiful colors. Okay, next to it, what do we have there, David? Uh, this is another kind of different thing you probably never see it's a um a master built fender and what a master built fender is is they have uh, eight guys who work in fender custom shop that will hand build the entire guitar start to finish themselves so this is one of a uh, you know semi hollow telly with a bigsby something totally rare all built by one person start to finish so yeah. the quality fit and finish playability everything is just you know, above everything else. Sort Very of thing. cool. Very, Very nice. Good. The next one is an eight string acoustic guitar. That's right. It's an eight string uh, baritone. So it's tuned lower, B to B instead of uh, E to E. Mm -hmm. And then there's uh, octave strings here, like a 12 string. So it gives a really full, loud sound. Yeah, and the, we're talking about the wood on the back of it, especially. You actually picked this out? That's right, yeah. This is Cocobolo, which is a uh, really beautiful looking wood. And uh, I went down to Taylor Guitars in in September, picked out a bunch of wood to have instruments built, and this is one of them. That is gorgeous. gorgeous. No wonder you picked that. Yeah. Now, yeah. the next guitar is uh, my favorite of the group you brought today, and it looks like it's uh, beat to crap. It does look like it's, it's beat not, to crap. But it's not, it's brand new. Again, yeah, it's another uh, master built fender, built by one person, start to finish, and all aged to look like it's actually from, say, 1960. Right. It even looks like it was a different color at one point. That's right, right? yeah. Like well, you can see in here. In the 60s and 50s, they used to spray them all this uh, sunburst finish just because it was uh, efficient, and then it spray custom colors over that. So, or, but it was yeah. so thin and that the finish would wear off. And underneath was this beautifulness right here. Right. right. Even, uh, even the, the buttons and so on are kind of faded, right? Yeah. Kind of used looking. Yeah, rusty screws, the whole, the whole nine yeah, yards. It's brand new. Yeah. Yeah. And what's our last one over there? Then this is a, a, one of my favorite uh, guitar makers. This is a company called Collings, wow. which is from Austin, Texas. And they build, like, they only build about 500 electric guitars a year, so it's super small production, but the quality level is named through the roof. Just yeah. absolute perfection. Yeah. And uh, gorgeous woods. Yeah. Yeah. I was asking stuff. you earlier, I'm a big uh, fan of the bass guitar. Do you have lots of bass guitars available? We do have lots of bass guitars. Yeah. I should have brought some. Yeah, but, what uh, else you got down there? What are some uh, of your other favorite instruments? Yeah, the other you got favorite mandolins instruments. And uh, like we do have some mandolins. Yeah, yeah. we have. I uh, just got in a really gorgeous uh, Callings, these uh, ukulele. These guys make a ukulele, the ukes. too. Yeah. The ukulele, ukulele has made a big comeback. It is. It's huge right now. Yeah. yeah. It's very cool to be able to play the ukulele. Absolutely. It's yeah. fun. Do you yeah. have uh, a flute? No. No, we just do guitars and uh, No pianos. tambourines. No tambourines. So if I come down, I bring a, a flautist and a tambourine player. Right. right, and then you can play guitar with them. Uh, yeah, nice. Yeah. Uh, still on Wellington Street. Yes. Yeah. Lessons, all that gear available to people? Yeah, we do lessons. We have a great repair uh, facility Good as well. Point. Yeah, Good yeah. Point. We have an amazing guitar tech who's uh, very, yeah. very busy. And yeah. it's tough to know sometimes where exactly you should bring your guitar if something goes bad. Right. right. You don't want to. Uh, you don't want to bring it to the wrong person. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Listen, very cool stuff, David. Nice to meet you. Thanks. Thanks for coming down. Thanks for having me. Next time I'm in uh, the market for a bass, I'm coming out there. All right. All right. I do need lessons. Back we can out. help you out. Can you? Oh, yeah. All right. Maybe we'll get on that. 
Look at that beautiful Eric Clapton replica here. Dude has played it. He's had it in his hand. He signed it. He's pretty good at it. 953.